Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkholisi Mube. Uh, I want to address uh, applicants who are on the ZEP who are trying to migrate to the mainstream South African permit, especially those who are applying for waivers. So many have been asking what documents their employer needs to fill so that they can submit at the VFS. And this is what I'm going to address briefly. But before I go ahead, may I request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Uh, I'll begin with the good news that uh, this week we did receive some feedback from people who applied for the waiver who have uh, reported positive news because they were granted those particular waivers that they, were, uh, they applied for. Uh, now back to the question, uh, there are six documents. After you fill in the application form, the online application form, you will be prompted to download two documents. The first one is the checklist. The second one is the bank payment receipt. On the bank payment receipt, the machine will automatically generate uh, a number that is a reference number for you. It is the one that you will then take uh, that slip. You take that slip to the bank. We are told that some uh, branches of Standard Bank do not allow deposits which are below 5,000 rents inside uh, the bank. So they direct you to the ATM where security will then assist you. So what you need to do is you make sure that you capture the correct reference. So for a, an applicant for a waiver, your reference is the one which begins with TRW, which is temporary residence waiver. Then there is a number in front that you capture all of it. And then there are those who are asking uh, which one is their permit number. For those who applied uh, in Johannesburg, uh, your permit number begins with MID, which is for mid-rent, and it ends with a ZEP. You have to capture both the MID and the ZEP, including the numbers that are in between. Uh, so that one, I think, is cleared. Now, on the checklist, you will find that under waivers, there are six documents that you need to, to submit at the VFS. Now, your employer must assist you to... Uh, have a contract prepared to prepare a contract for those already who are on contracts you'll find that you the one contract that you signed together with your employer is the one that you have to produce at VFS and then you need to produce your CV we hope people who went in seek, uh, in, in seek of employment used their CVs to try and get that particular employment so what you need from an employer is uh, a curriculum vitae you also need a company background and a letter of motivation which motivates as to why you need uh, the waiver. It should uh, specify the regulations of the Immigration Act which you would uh, require to be waived and a motivation against each uh, regulation or as to why you need that one to be put aside. So from your employer, you need three documents. You need a contract which you signed and the employer signed. You need a company background and you need a letter of motivation. Then from the person who assists you to apply online after you have paid at the VFS and you are booking an, uh, and you've booked an appointment, they will be able to download the online application form. You cannot download it before you have paid and before you have booked an appointment. Then from you, you must produce a CV. Yeah, those are the things. And also copies of your passport and all the waiver, I mean the visas, that is the DZP, the ZSP, and the ZEP that you have had since the, document, the documentation process began in 2010. I hope uh, we have clarified this, but if there's anything more that you would need us to clarify for you, you can use the comment section underneath this video or WhatsApp us on 073-962-3075. Do not call, do not greet us, just go straight to the point via WhatsApp. Thank you.